Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leerbach, and you are just in time for more Amnesia the Dark Descent. Oh boy, how will Leerbach get himself out of this messy predicament? <laughs> uh, I was trying to be humorous there, I'm sorry, I apologize for not being funny at all. So in the last episode, we got chased by a demonic, invisible hell fiend, and who we could only see in the water. Escaped it at long last, and we're gonna hallucinate something again. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess! I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. What the everlasting gobstoppers was that? What? No, seriously. The guy... Oh, wow. Well, is that us? Or is that, was that Alexander? Can we assume that was Alexander and not us? Please tell me it wasn't us that used that saw to cut, cut off the dog's head. That is just effed up with a capital E F F F F F exclamation mark. Jeez. Okay, so in the last episode, we got a uh, note, um, diary entry of Daniel's return. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition, lest I took a good turn for the worse. An excessive decision in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning. In the haphazard collection of things brought from home and brought from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there a wait, we've read this one before, haven't we? Uh, so we read, we've read all this, so what is the note we got before? No, we read that one last episode. Anatomy Frontiers? This has to be it, okay. 1658, January 9. Further disappointment, the, antiquarian, the antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill the void myself. Clearly, humans em emanate more of the energy I seek. But I hope animals will suffice that they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Oh, crud. Yeah, that's... Ugh. I had a feeling that's what that was about. Okay, so for now, I'm going to try to make sure to get these notes whenever I... Read these notes whenever we pop them up. Because um, trying to look for them is going to be a pain. I need to start paying attention to the names of them, too. So we also have a second note right here. Animal Experiment. Canis Lupus Familiars. 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an, an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. Through, 
that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. Or it could just be adrenaline. There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the from the exercise. But to find this process of torture of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. So he starts experimenting on dogs. Uh and then he starts experimenting on humans afterwards. Yeah, we're we're gonna. Uh, yeah, I think we've, we kind of decided at this point we're gonna kill Alexander. And in all honesty, I can't blame us for wanting to. Canine jaw, understanding balance. What that mean? Well, the only way we can go from here is to traverse this way, and someone tells me if we fall from here, we die. It just fell. Did it? Wait, did a tree finally fall in the forest? No one was here. It was. Around to hear it? Oh, that would have solved so many issues. <laughs> Again, trying to solve fear through comedy. <laughs> and probably not doing such a good job. Not even sure what that is, apparently. Over renovation plans. Oh. Oops, wrong button. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. I bow to you. I've done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trust you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Huh. So... Is that some sort of god? Or something like that? I mean, the sentries, maybe like an immortal. Which means this could easily take place in the Highlander world, which, oh god, that means we have Highlander source. Oh. Actually, we have Highlander th 2 through. Well, everything after Highlander 1, basically. So what do we have here? And if the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure. <laughs> the meter should read 8 up, 8 down. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, 4 phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. So we got one. So we need like more? Um. I pushed down on a pot. Hi. I'm gonna read just my mouse for that. So, it looks like we're done with one room. Let's, uh. Tread carefully. <laughs> yeah, apparently, I need to start treading carefully. Wow, that was, um. That was pretty embarrassing. Oh, man, that's. It's between that and the demonic hell beast, um, I have a feeling this would probably be a better way to die. <laughs> demonic hell beast in the water is not, not much 
think it would make it pleasant. If we're talking about, I'd probably die from the sheer shock of the beast starting to eat me from my feet up. So yeah, let's go into the back hall. So. I climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock, and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. Okay. As a reminder, if you see me lean suddenly for no reason, you hear a loud noise, you hear that loud uh, noise like I'm hitting a key really hard. Um, I'm trying to keep these synced up because between loading screens, yeah, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like my software for some reason renders loading screens faster than what they are here. Like what I'm seeing is like, well, if you sync it up, it should be the same length of time. But um, you'll see like this black space from where I had to had to cut the video to stretch it out long enough. I had to stretch the video out by cutting it and just pulling it up, pulling it away. Um, So yeah, um, simply because like for whatever reason, it's like the the game the game's being reported, and it's like well, it's like well, this is like going faster than it actually is. It's weird. It's really weird how how it's recording it. Um, and I'm trying to look into other ways of recording, but like nothing is working. <laughs> this is like the only thing way that's working. So, um. I know this is probably going to be a shorter episode if I, yeah, I know this is probably going to be a shorter episode, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. Um, this will probably make for a little easier flow with everything, um, hopefully, and it'll make uh, cutting and editing a little easier on my end, because you know, having to load in another room means I have more time to deal with. So in the next episode, we'll probably be heading into what, this room, the guest room, um, and trying to find another, I'm assuming another rod, and possibly a key to the machine room. Um, let me see what our, yeah, need. Complete steam slow cycle, if we have that. Four phase amplitude, Trinity steam set functions. So we begin with the last two items. Um, and hopefully, uh, well, given the way this game has been playing so far, I hope, hopefully we won't have to worry too much um, about the demons in this section. Um, and hopefully, hopefully in this section, there won't be any fleshy growths in this, in this chamber. I, I really hope not. I really hope not. That, that was, uh, that was disturbing enough. But, in the next episode, we'll be entering the guest room, and sadly, we'll be having to leave this, you know, this safe haven, as I've come to call it. The really twisted fountain. Really, really weird fountain, at least. Um, but oddly enough, out of everything in this mansion, I have the most serene thing, and I feel safe around it for some reason. You know, I probably shouldn't. So, yeah. Um, that'll all be in the next episode, though. So, until then, I will see you guys later.